Hi there, this is Rob, and this is the Halloween version of the Two Minute Overnight Overview. First I'll review the odds posted on Friday and the very long overnight session that ensued. Then I'll show whether Halloween has been a scary night for traders. On Friday the odds appeared moderately bullish. Both QQQ and IWM showed up in green since they met the minimum criteria for a possible long trade. But ES is the index security I pay most attention to because that's the one I trade. Looking at ES, price action was slightly bullish, internals were just above break even, and seasonality was basically flat. This resulted in averages that very mildly seemed to favor an upside edge, and despite one study appearing in the edge finder also suggesting an upside edge, evidence wasn't nearly compelling enough for me to consider taking a long trade. And I was quite happy not to be in a position as Hurricane Sandy extended the two-day weekend to four days. Let's take a look and see how it played out. While U.S. markets remained closed, futures opened and closed a few times. Measuring from Friday's closure at 1407.5, futures dipped as much as 14.5 points before recovering and rallying above Friday's close by nearly 11 points. When we finally opened back up on Wednesday, futures were 5 points above Friday's close. Traders that took the possible long signals in QQQ or IWM would have been rewarded, but it would have been a long-term overnight trade. Today is Halloween, and in the spirit of the holiday, I thought I'd have a little fun and examine whether the overnight has been scary. So let's flip the daily chart, and I'll show a study I did there. Looking back to 2000 as I normally do, I examined performance Halloween night, assuming it fell during the week. So if Halloween was on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it did not qualify. The haunts only last one night, so I didn't give him credit for a full weekend. Instances are low, so I wouldn't read too much into this, but so far the results appear frightful. Not only have there been five gaps down to just two gaps up, but the gaps down have been two and a half times the size of the gaps up, and the average gap down has been a scary and unlucky 13 points. Here's a list of instances. The worst ones have been the last two, with the biggest overnight loss occurring last year. Seasonal odds look strong today, but they do not factor in this Halloween trick. Thanks for listening, and rest easy if you dare. Mwah! Mwah!